Good day. My name is Glennis. I want to welcome you to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Today has been a very unusual day. <laughs> uh, I had, you know, I had it all planned out. And I'm sure you've had days like that too. I had it all planned out to where I was going to take care of business, do some work, take care of business, get things, you know, kind of figured out, so to speak, before the holidays and before everything got crazy busy. And, <laughs> but you know what, in, in hindsight, it's actually worked out so, so much better. I, like I said, I've been working and doing so many different things and I went to the post office before I got before I started back here and sharing this with you guys and I've received some love mail I've already gotten the box open I'm still struggling a little bit with the gift wrap but I you know I thought about it and with receiving the love mail and I know that there are so many of you guys trying to improve your overall health so the tea blend that I was going to share with you is going to wait for another day. And we've switched gears to do doing something, uh, you know, a little bit healthier for those of you who I hope don't need it. But if you do need it, I will. But I got this absolutely beautiful mug. It's gorgeous. I have not, there is not a card in here anywhere. <laughs> Nowhere is there a card, but I highly suspect I know who it's from, and it is a, an incredibly gorgeous. And I mean, here I am going to share a tea blend for you, for your guy, for you guys' health. And as it turns out, it says plant witch, which I mean, I absolutely, you guys know, I love my herbs, and oh my goodness, I love my mug, and I want to thank you so much so much this is so incredibly gratefully appreciated and it's and actually what I'm going to do when I finish this blend I'm going to wash this up and I'm going to use this blend and have me a big mug of tea and it's going to be wonderful but I want to thank you so much it, it just you know, for you guys to think about me the way that you do. It is just so gratefully appreciated. And I'm going to set this aside because I'm honestly afraid of what I'm going to do here. But now the tea blend that I want to share with you is, you know, for your overall health. But it's going to be very, very good if you happen to maybe are feeling a little bit under the weather. Now, I've already shared with you my elderberry syrup, you know, recipe, I don't want to call it recipe, uh, and how to take that. I keep it in a cool, dark place or in the fridge, please do. And uh, I'm hoping that you are well on your way to making a tincture that should, mine will be ready probably about Yule time or, you know, the first of the year. So, but I've got my syrup, and uh, so I'm basically ready. But this is only if you were just feeling really awful, feeling really dreadful. And what you're going to need, if I, if I can orient myself here, is some mullen. Now, mullen, and, I try, and I've tried to make myself notes, is an anti-inflammatory, and it's a pain reliever. So some mullen. And so what you want to do, I'm going to make my blend here in this glass bowl that you guys know I thrifted. So you can hopefully see it a little bit better. But you want to put in about two parts of mullen. And I'm, you guys know I'm not going to sit here with a, a measuring cup. I'm going to just pinch it off. So two parts of mullen. And let's just set this aside. Uh, let's see, where is it? Three parts of if I can pronounce this proper, properly, is elecampane root. 
Now, if you guys have been with me a while and watched my herb series, I have worked with this before, and this is very, very good to treat a cough. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping when you, about three parts of elecampane, and mix it with your mullen, and we're going to set this aside as well. And I'm hoping that during my herb series, you, you, you know, kind of dabbled a little bit with some herbs that you are not familiar with. But that is very, very good for a cough, and mullen is a very good anti-inflammatory. And the next part, let's see, um, two parts of marshmallow root. So again, I'm going to just wing it here. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't think that there's any, a right way or a wrong way. Now, marshmallow root is very, very good to loosen congestion up. So if you do have a dry cough, and it, it will, it's a very, very good internal moisturizer. So marshmallow root. Two parts of that. And let's see, where are we? <laughs> I have my calendula here. Now, calendula is a very good antifungal and a very good antibacterial. So, about one pinch of that, and it smells just incredible, and it's beautiful. And why not, right? And let's see. One, one part, echinacea. And we all know about echinacea, right? That that went into our elderberry syrup. So about one good part of echinacea. And one part of chamomile. Chamomile is also really good for a cough. I'm going to do a one good pinch of chamomile. And let's see, and a little bit of elderberry, one uh, like a, a, a scant pinch, if there is such a thing. If I can get this open, it's going to be, yes, it's going to be one of those, one of those days, but you know what, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So just, I mean, that much or... Eh, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> maybe just a little bit more. And that much, which is basically a half a pinch of ginger. I do, I do have fresh ginger. And what I'm going to do is add it into my tea. If you have just the herb, you know, just, just a wee bit of ginger. And there you go. This is, you know... Ginger is actually really great for a lot of different things, but it's good for muscle strains and, of course, nausea, you know, and, and stomach issues like and things like that. And chamomile is actually really, really good for hay fever. So, and of course, it's, it's going to relax you, too. But if you have any kind of hay fever and um, it's, you know, I think it's just really, really very, very pretty. And of course, if you want to add anything else to it, if you want to add some hibiscus to it or a few little roses to it, it would be just wonderful. But what I do is if I can find my jar, it was well, somewhere here it is. I just, you know, just blend this up a little bit and just give it a good go. And, um, yeah, there you go. And what I use now, um, if I can get this out of here, um, I usually, when I'm making tea, I make not a huge pot of tea, but I make a pretty good pot of tea that will give me two or three cups or so. And I will use, you know, something like this and just fill it a bit and, and pour some boiling water on it or something like this. I use this as well. 
and I found this. I actually found this at the store. It's a little owl. Of course, I've got my owl mug here. And uh, it's just got a, if I can get it, just has a, like a little lever here. And it, op it will open right up. Or it should. <laughs> it should. And there, and there you go. And he will sit. And you'll have your friend setting with you. And he, he clips right here on the edge of this end for you to steep your tea. But I'm hoping, I'm honestly hoping that you guys are not going to need this blend. I hope you won't. But I'm going to give it a try. I probably will add, you know, a, just a wee bit. I don't like to add too much honey to it. Or you may have some stevia if you have some natural herb stevia. You can, you know, if you need a little bit of sweetness, you can add that along with it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, awesome day. I hope you are staying safe and happy and healthy. I hope to see you guys again very, very soon. Goodbye.